days long before the movies could talk, early silent films spoke openly of the battle between the sexes. The very idea of women voting was a laughing matter in comedies until woman suffragists began to make their own films. Scores of comedies and melodramas both ridiculed and supported the suffrage movement before women throughout the United States won the right to vote in 1920 with the passage of the 19th Amendment. Most of these films have disappeared without a trace, leaving behind only faded stills and reviews in trade journals. The rare surviving films give us a unique journey into sexual politics after the turn of the century. Their vision of women is sometimes surprisingly liberated, but often the portrait of early feminists is a cruel stereotype of man-hating or masculine-looking women who abandon their husbands and children. In 1913, with suffragists such as Alice Paul bringing British militancy to the United States, suffrage comedies found grist for their satire on the front pages of the nation's newspapers. The Edison Company film, How They Got the Vote, traveled about the country's Nickelodeons that year with a satiric look at the British suffragettes. In England, Feminists smashed storefront glass and broke windows at 10 Downing Street in an effort to gain Parliament's attention. Comedy's stern suffragist heroine disrupts a sedate tea when she exposes the Votes for Women banner stretched across her chest. She becomes the source of chaos in an otherwise orderly world. Even members of Parliament shake in their boots at her lecture. This sinister-looking suffragette hated men so much that she breaks up her own daughter's engagement. The director gave this film a surprising twist at the end. The defeated young man in this scene later resorts to magic to win votes for women and to win back his sweetheart. Though this comedy granted women the right to vote in its happy ending, its caricature of a cruel suffragist made the conclusion bittersweet.